Hi, my name is Sherry and this is my stamp studio. It's kind of messy. Thankfully, you can only see this much. It's been a super busy week. I have so much going on in my little stamp world. Um, if you follow me, you know that the holiday catalog is getting ready to come out. So you have a couple more weeks to get it. Not even eh, about two weeks. Um, so if you don't have a copy of it yet, let me know. Comment below on whichever format that you're watching this on and I will be happy to send you one. Um, you can start ordering from it on September 4th. Um, and it's full of some fun stuff but I have some other stuff that's happening on coming up with the holiday catalog too so let me tell you that um, on September 4th through the 13th if you order the Harvest Hello bundle from me and you use the September host code which isn't up yet because it's still August but if you go to my website and you order these two products and next week on my website I will have the list of additional things that you will need like stamp colors and stuff um, then you will get to take my free online class and my free online classes are the videos are just like these but only you get to see them if you're in the online class um, and there will be a Facebook page more than likely to go with them it kind of I haven't made all of the projects yet but when you order this you use the host code these Stampin' Up! sends these to you with anything else that you might want to order um, in that same order and then I will send you like if, if this was the project, like whatever I'm doing today, whatever it takes, the ribbon and the pearls and all of the pieces of cardstock, you'll get all that in the mail for three different projects that go with this. And then as I do the videos, you can watch the video first or you can just watch it once and do it along with me. So it, that's how my free online class works. So if you order this from the 4th to the 13th of September and you use the host code on my website, that's how it works. And um, then you'll get to take that free online class. There are two videos up so far with those. Those are not part of the online class, but there'll be additional ideas that you can do. And you might want to check those out if you're going to take it because like the mercury glass um, acetate paper is in the holiday catalog and that card has been a huge hit. So you might want to get that paper so you could make that because you'll have it, the stamps and the punch that you need to do it. So that's coming up on September 4th. And then, um, if you follow me on Facebook with my girlfriends, we have a team called Creating and Sharing the Life You Love. So there's two parts to that. There's a demonstrator only part for demonstrators all around the world. And we have, we literally have demonstrators from all around the world. And then there's a public page, so you don't have to be a demonstrator to watch us on that side. And we go live on Facebook um, about once a week. We miss sometimes because, you know, family stuff um, or, you know, on occasion, two of us are sick and it's no fun to go live on your own. Um, but the public page is called at friends to stamp on Facebook. But when you type that at the top, then the page, they're both really called creating and sharing the life you love, but that's how you differentiate. So we have, uh, we also have a, a online, um, holiday catalog class coming up both for demonstrators and for non demonstrators. So there's one to pick from depending on if you're a demonstrator or not, but it's focused on the perfectly plaid bundle. So if you're, um, not a demonstrator when you sign up this will come in your um, packet and you'll be making nine projects both classes will make similar projects and there will be nine um, if you're not if you are a demonstrator then chances are you've already gotten this so we're not including that in your packet but you'll get um, probably a bag if you sign up by Friday which is tomorrow I'm gonna post this today then you'll get a free shirt um, our new shirts. Um, you've probably seen us wear our other ones with the checkerboard, our um, website logo. This year says Stamp Camp Creative Coordinator? Director? Director, I think. <laughs> and they have our hashtag on the back. So you'll get that free if you sign up by Friday. Um, so those, I will put the links down to our events down below, but you will um, get a, those will be on a Facebook page we will go live in there to answer questions but there will be nine videos for the nine projects you'll get all of the cardstock to make the nine projects and then the best part is with the nine projects you'll get the pdfs to print out so if you're a demonstrator you'll be able to take those we will have class ideas what you need to order to make them into classes but with the nine projects you will also get because the nine projects will all use this you will get two alternative ideas for every project using something else from the holiday catalog. So you'll be set to go. If you're a demonstrator, you can take that class and immediately have classes for the whole rest of um, the holiday catalog run. And if you're a customer, you'll be set for all the holidays because we're going to try to get, I know this looks like it's a Christmas set, but we're going to try to get 
all of the holidays and then with the alternative ideas obviously um, we'll get everything but we're not just gonna do Christmas with this we're gonna try to get everything with it so that's what we've got coming and then if you're going to Lansing if you're a demonstrator we have a um, event there it's there's three sessions of it um, not cards and not holiday catalog because it will be November 15th so we'll be We'll be focusing on the annual catalog again, but we're not going to do any cards. Um, and our friend Lisa Fast will also be joining the, joining us that day, and she will be presenting her million dollar stamp set. She earned her million dollars years ago, but they weren't doing that then. Um, but it will be in the occasions catalog, so we'll do that. But we have some super fun stuff planned for that day, and it's not going to be cards because we want to do something different because different's our jam. So that's what we're doing. All this stuff coming up so you can be on my email list my last email had all of that information in it so if you didn't get that email I'm not sending it again but just let me know you want me to forward you that and I will forward you with forward you that one and it has all the information so today I this is our one of my camp cards for tomorrow I'm using to a wild rose that bundle it's fabulous I do have another no I don't think I don't think I ever filmed the other card that I had with this it's super fun the reason I know I didn't film it is because I made it in April and it was all still mounted on my stamparatus. But I'm going to um, continue my series on how to copy a card. And this is the card that I'm copying. Can you see it? I did not make this card. One of my friends and one of my teammates, Christy Falk. Mm, I think her website is Create with Christy. Christy made this when we went to a Stampin' Up! event in Terre Haute, Indiana. You know of all the places that Stephen Up could have an event. Terre Haute would not have been what I would ever thought they would do. But this is um, Christy's card and I have loved it since she made it. And I liked it a little bit more than the one I made because I used, I call it the moon paper. It's like that Monet paper. And it was, the paper is pretty but it's hard to put with this stamp set and that's really I think the one that it comes with. Maybe not. Maybe it goes with a different one. It's the one I used with it and it was just, it was a lot going on. That was part of the reason I never filmed it because I kept thinking I was going to tweak it. And then Christy made this. It's been a minute. I've had this in my stash for a minute. Um, but I liked this. I wanted to tweak it a little bit because I don't like to do people's exact um, works of art at my camps. And I also, so I, um, You'll see what I did. I changed it up a little bit and on my website I will put a picture of Christie's and I'll put a link to her website. So that's hers. So let's get going. I'm going to use the Stamparatus um, because this is a three-step stamp and it's one of those ones that you stamp once and then you stamp over and over and if you don't have the Stamparatus then you're forever twisting your stamp trying to figure out where the next one goes. So when you use the Stamparatus then you just it's already mounted and you go. So I already have the Stamparatus mounted. I probably should have not, um, but if I take it apart at this point, I'm gonna get my hands dirty because I didn't clean my stamps. So I will um, aim my camera down. Let's see, you can see my table. I'm also gonna use Rococo Rose. It's not how you say it. My daughter's, she's not here. She can correct me. Um, she is a linguistics person from her university days. Can we see that? Um, and so when the color first came out and I said Rococo, she's like, that's not how you say it. I don't remember now, though, how you say it. But she's not here to correct me. So let's do all of our um, stuff with the die cut machine first. And I switched up Christy's colors a little bit because she made this in the spring. And I just wanted to have... I didn't switch them much, but she's got um, the petal pink, and then she, I think this is probably pear pizzazz. And I just wanted to go a touch more, maybe fallish. Um, and then she used the ten tile background, and because I haven't used this one a lot at camp, I'm going to use this as the lace. So put this in here. It doesn't matter which way and you remember you always this is one of the old style ones um, so I just need the white if you bought it recently and it's a 3d you'll need the blue it's gonna get a little confusing because now that you can order some of these and they've been remade by Stampin' Up if yours does not say Sizzix then you need the blue so look how pretty that is so that's that for that embossing folder Let's stick all of our regular stuff back on here 
And then we have, here's our flower in shimmer white. Because you know that's the best color ever. And then here's our word panel. It's a photopolymer set, so I can put these on here and then stamp second. And then I changed the pear to mellow moss just because it looks a little bit more fallish to me. It's a little bit darker. So if you want to make a card that you've seen and that you love and you don't have the exact colors, just go with what you got. Or if you want to change the seasons on it, just change the seasons to a different color. You could make this uh, a winter card and go all the way different and go blues. So there's that. I'm putting these over here so I know what size to cut these for later. Then I need, I have this there and I'm going to try to stick my scissors in it. I'm going to do two of the leaves. leaf on the mellow moss and then this is this cuts out beautifully and I'm going to do that in the copper foil so by switching the um, petal pink and the moss I that in there crooked it just gives it a little bit more I thought of an autumn feel since we're making this at the end of August camp stamp and then we'll put it all together. So when you do, when you use your Stamparatus because you've used your die cuts, what you want to do is originally um, put your background paper. I guess I need to sit down so I can make sure that you guys can see this because I'm still standing because I prefer to stand when I stand. Move this out of the way because you know once you get this little doohickey up here, this other thing. But run your um, background piece through your um, the die. So you have the die here. So I've got this die. And then you're going to, I'll do one of these. I might get my fingers all inky now, but I'll do it for you guys. So then you'll take each of your individual stamps and you have your die here. And then you're, if you make a lot of them, so now you can see you're going to lay it in here because this one, it spins and spins and it like it's hard to figure out exactly where to stamp them when it's on the block, but you put it on here where you can see it and it's super easy. Then shut your door and pick that back up and then do it for all of them. And when you've got that just stuck to your paper, it does stick a little bit. I could put two magnets on here, which if I was doing this myself, I would, but you know our magnets, if they touch each other, um, they snap. And so at camp, I don't like to have two magnets on there because I don't want anybody to snap themselves. So go over and get your thing now. And then I have a tiny, tiny bit, and this is the other reason it was sticking, of um, snail that I just stuck in here. So we'll hold this in place. And see, this is where the spinny spinny, and this happens when you're trying to stamp it. So put this in here, where it goes. You would think it would be easier. It's like a puzzle. But at least with the apparatus, you just do it once. Okay, now I need this piece. There's a big round piece, and um, really, if you look for that, but I was talking. So get that wedged in there nicely. Okay, pushed it down before it was exactly where it needs to go. So it just goes in here in the little puzzle piece, and just stick that down in here. And then for camp, I wrote down the colors that I want. So I want the most... Um, and these just wipe off. Actually, I, I did wipe off the other one because I used, normally I would say take a magic eraser and wipe this wipe this Sharpie off, but I did clean these with our new stamp pad, stamp cleaning pad, and it took the Sharpie right off too. So this also cleans Sharpie. So now I have to go back and add the other color. But this is petal pink, so the one that's the main, it, like the strongest color, do the lightest. Some petal pink on here and the nice thing about this main image it's going to get some other colors over the top so if you don't get it all the way it doesn't matter so stamp this um you do need for this a little bit of scrap paper where did i put my scrap paper i don't see it we'll just grab a piece of because this one's dirty because they overlap 
overlap each other. I did think about getting um, a third a third door, but it can't. The Stamparatus can, you know, hit somebody else's spot if it has too many doors. And I'm just going to grab my scissors since I have that. So now you can see you've got that. It's a little smeary, but like I said for this one, it doesn't matter because this is going to cover it up. So then flip your door over. And then we're going to go with the rose. I'm just not going to say the first part of it. That way I won't be saying it wrong. There's some of our French demonstrators. Tell me how I'm supposed to say it this with the rose. Um, the petal pink looks a bit orange when you first stamp it and the longer it dries the lighter it gets. It's a funny color. That's part of the reason I had um, cleaned these because I thought one of my stamps had um, pumpkin pie or something on it because when I first stamped it I'm like dang that looks orange. This is when you really need this because see you have to press over that. I did have a big piece of our grid paper. So just stamp that. And you can see those colors are all dark, but they're going to dry a lot lighter as they dry. And then you're just going to turn your apparatus around. Now on this one, you are going to do soft suede. This one's a little bit more important that you ink it well. But the nice thing is if it doesn't stamp all well the first time, it's the stamp apparatus and you can go back and do it again. And this one, this is, if you have these where they're overlapping, then just do your most important piece or you can stamp it well. And there we go. So see, even though those weren't perfect everywhere, it doesn't matter on these because they're all overlapping. It's a three-step stamp. I guess I've got this one still. So now you just take this out and instead of having to grabbed my scissors instead of having to line all those up and now if you're going to do multiple cards just stick your next die in there and just keep going and then it's super fast and now it can't nobody has to think about it but me because I already thought about it for them and I will show them how to mount that at camp so let's take our background piece of rose then we have this beautiful in color ribbon that's the shears in color and so Christy went, I'll show you her card. She went that way with it. I'm going to go this way. Because we have a lot of people coming to camp. And this is a ribbon saving tip. The whole reason my card goes this direction is because I don't have, I have a lot of people coming and I don't want to run out of ribbon. So we're going to use less because this way uses less ribbon. That way I'll ensure that we don't run out. Of here, but this ribbon is called the Scalloped Linen Ribbon and it ha is in all of the end colors. So it's got the um, nice crumb cake in the, um, is that crumb cake? <laughs> is that the color it is now? I don't think it's, is it crumb cake? Oh, you know, it's storm season here and I have been on a hit of migraine medicine and it makes me not remember words. So whatever color that is. Y'all can tell me. By the time I post this, I will have remembered. So just put this on here. And just make sure you get a little bit of adhesive right over these so it keeps them stuck under there. It's a really nice um, vintage look. And then we're going to take this panel and this die comes in the bundle so it's a pretty frame that you'll be able to use on a lot of different sets you won't have to just use it with this one and then it comes with um, true friendship is one of God's greatest gifts that comes in the set I'm just gonna go with blessed for the girls at camp which also comes in the set and it's also you know how I showed you the pumpkin at the beginning, and I made a pumpkin with the acetate. This is where I got the the blast that was on that card out of this stamp set. But I thought it was a nice fall one, and if they want to use it for a fall card, they can, or it works for a birthday too. You just put happy birthday on the inside, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna stick this on next. 
There's no dimensionals or anything. This is all just a flat card, but there's enough going on that it doesn't feel like it's flat. This here. Let's stick our flower on. Let's see, I know this is not out because if you've been watching my videos, I filled it not long ago and I haven't worked on trades or anything, so it can't be gone. So now let's just get the rest of our dies. Keep trying to put everything where I can just put it immediately up for camp. So we've got two of the little leaves. You could cut more. There are, um, I didn't use nearly all of the dies that are in this set. We've got this beautiful, beautiful flower. You could, this would make lovely wedding invitations or if you are setting up for a wedding shower, making like table favors or putting them on candles or name plates, it would be beautiful. Simply stunning. And this just flower on its own, just with the flower and one leaf, would be pretty. But look how pretty that is. And our last leaf. And we're almost done. So this card looks like it might have taken a bit of time, but it doesn't take any time at all. So I'm just going to put some piece in here. This up. So see, I'm not putting adhesive everywhere and you want to make sure that you have enough to hold it but this is why you don't really need dimensionals because there is enough um actually i'm going to do this one first and i'm going to go on this one i'm sticking the um, adhesive right here under the center right there and that's enough to hold it but i'm letting all of the edges on it curl up And so it doesn't need dimensionals because there's enough movement on the card without it. So there's that. And then she used one of the little um, ice, the silver and clear rhinestones. But these are my free gift with purchase. You purchase anything on my website in August and you're going to get these with your thank you card. They're the basic pearls. I've been using them a lot this month. So let's take the largest one because they have adhesive on the back and help hold this down with that. And then there's three sizes, so let's take a little one here. And then the tiniest one. And maybe put it here. And then we're done. So we've used Christie's idea. It still looks very similar, but it's not the same card. Um, but I loved her color combination. I loved her idea. So I've copied the card and got the idea from her, but it's not the exact same card. I hope my, I know my ladies at camp will love it because this was stunning. And so we've just autumned it up a little bit. So there you go. That's how you do it. If you are interested in signing up to be a being, signing up to be a demonstrator, um, remember there's the August special right now where you get um, $30 more in free stuff and $10 more in free stuff next month. Um, so that's a great deal. And if you're interested in it, attending any of our events or signing up for my online class, head to my Facebook page or my website and you can get all the details there or sign up to be on my email list. And if you didn't get that last email that I sent yesterday, let me know and I can resend that to you. It has all of my upcoming events and you can go to my calendar on my um, website and it has everything too. Not my Stampin' Up! website because that's being redone and mine's almost ready to go. Um, but when right now my calendar on there is not done, but my calendar on my regular website is. So everybody have a great day and happy stamping. Bye.